Before continuing further, make sure you know the rules for writing the chemical formulae and names of monoatomic ions, such as iron-3 and sulphide. If you aren't sure how to do this, watch our previous lesson. If you're ready to move on, let's try writing the chemical formula of a compound made from aluminium cations and chloride anions by balancing their charges. First, we need to find the chemical formulae of the constituent ions. We can achieve this by applying the octet rule, which states that atoms usually lose electrons until their valence shell is completely empty or gain electrons until their valence shell is completely full. Consequently, the aluminium cation has a charge of 3 plus and chloride has a charge of 1 minus. Secondly, we need to understand that these ions occur in a specific ratio so that the compound has no net charge. In other words, the total charge of the positive cations needs to balance out the total charge of the negative anions. We can draw puzzle pieces to help demonstrate this concept. An outwards tab represents a positive charge, while an inwards slot represents a negative charge. A greater charge is shown using a longer piece with more tabs or slots. Going back to our example, the aluminium iron has a charge of 3 plus, so we draw a long puzzle piece with three tabs. In contrast, the chloride ion has a charge of 1 minus, so we draw a short puzzle piece with one slot. To complete the puzzle, we need three chloride ions to interlock with one aluminium ion. Therefore, aluminium and chloride bond in a 1 to 3 ratio. Of course, if you are good at mental arithmetic, then you can find the ratio without drawing anything. To write the chemical formula, we start with the symbol for the cation, followed by the symbol for the anion. These are the same symbols used in the periodic table. We also show the ratio of cations to anions using subscripts after each element's symbol. Finally, we do not need to write a subscript 1 if something appears just once in a chemical formula. Hence, this compound is AlCl3 because the number 1 is implied when we write the symbol for aluminium.